Google Web Stories. Heard of them? No? Well, you're not on your own. I hadn't heard of them until very recently, until a friend of mine shared her story how she took her website from 100,000 page views to 700,000 page views within 30 days. Insane, I know. And she puts it all down to Google Web Stories. So in today's video, we're gonna have a look at how I'm testing them and what you can expect if you want to give them a try. So, let's get into this. Hi and welcome to this mini series of videos regarding Google Web Stories. They're a new feature that I'm trying on two of my websites currently, my mega website and my pet website, to see if I can get some organic traffic by using this feature that Google highly recommends you try. So I was in the process of adding these web stories to my giveaway website, that's helpfulmonk.com. If you've not seen that website, it's a website I'm personally building and at the end of the year, I'm gonna give the site away. And I wanted to put some of these Google web stories on that website to try and help get some traffic to the website. If you've not seen that giveaway website, head over to carlbrobin.com and all you need to do is subscribe to my newsletter and you will be entered into the giveaway competition and you could win a website that I'm building. So I thought if I'm in the process of adding these web stories to that website, why don't I bring you guys along for the journey and show you what I'm doing with them and how hopefully that can help you grow your website. Now the topic of Google Web Stories is far too long for me to get into one video. So I'm gonna condense it into three short videos. Video number one, today's video, we're gonna cover a few quick rapid fire questions, things like what are Google Web Stories? And then in video number two, I'm gonna cover actually showing you how to add them to the website. So we'll go on to helpfulmonk.com and we will build some of these web stories ourselves live in front of you guys. And then in video number three, hopefully we've got some traffic and we can take a look back at some of the analytics, how you can track them, how you can see and find them in the SERP index and uh, see actually if they do work. But let's start with today's video then. So let's answer a few questions. So what are Google Web Stories? So Google Web Stories are an image, video, very, very visual features that appear inside Google. They're basically like a mini blog condensed into a few images that tell a story. So where do Web Stories appear? It's a Google feature, so they're gonna promote it in any platform they can. Things like Google Discovery, Google Search, and also within some Google apps. Now, because it is a Google feature, Google really does want to push it. It wants to try and use the tool. It's created the tool and it wants you to trial and test it. And that's one of the reasons I found it interesting. Google saying, try this feature and we will show you to the world. Why wouldn't you give it a go? That was my thought process behind it. One question I always get asked, will Google Web Stories stay? Is it a tool or a feature Google's gonna want to keep? Well. Who knows, Google has a habit of bringing out these features and these tools and then last in a year or two and then they give up on them. It's like anything, it's a business they trial and test things. But while they're wanting to trial it, while they're wanting to test it, I certainly want to see if I can get a piece of the action. So how can Google Web Stories help your website? Well, not only can they help by getting organic traffic to your website, so basically when somebody's looking at one of these Google Web Stories, when they finish reading it, flicking through the images, there'll be a button that says visit the website or read more here. They click that, they land straight over on your website. So you can get organic traffic over to your website. But also you can add affiliate links inside these Google Web Stories. So you can actually send people directly to affiliate programs. And also you can get shares and backlinks from them. So can you monetize them? Well, yes, it was one of the first questions I asked. Can you get advertisements within these web stories? And the answer from Ezoic was yes. You simply add a piece of code into the web story and you can show display ads within them stories. Now the web stories are very short, so there's not gonna be a lot of revenue from them. However, if you get goes viral and gets a few hundred thousand views, maybe even a million views, then that revenue could be quite substantial. Even if it's for a short period of time, it could be worth going for. Now I use Ezoic to place the adverts in mind, but you can also use Google AdSense as well. And I'm sure there's many other advertising partners that can also do that. So how do you make these web stories? 
Well, it's very simple. It is just a plugin. It is a WordPress plugin that Google has created to help you make these stories. Don't forget, Google wants to help you. It wants these stories making. It wants to compete with other platforms out there. So it makes it as easy as possible for you. Using this plugin, you are literally choosing an article that you want to have featured. You will use the images from that article. You will use the wording and the content from that article. So you have everything you need to create these web stories inside your WordPress dashboard. So is there any cost involved? Well, not really, unless you outsource it. So I started off by building the first few web stories myself. And it's very similar to Canva. You're basically creating an image like a front cover but then you create several of them and you make them into a story. So each one might be, the first page might be an intro, the second one a little bit of information, the third one a little bit more information, and the story continues right to the end until eventually they want to read more, so they click the link and go back to your website. So I created them myself in the first instance, and then I found that I'm not very good at them, I'm not very artistic, so I then ended up outsourcing it. So if you want to outsource the process, I can tell you now that the cost for me was around $400 per month. And that gets me around 30 to 40 web stories on my website each month. Now, another next question you're gonna ask is, where did you outsource it? Who did you get to do it? Well, I use Alison Lancaster. She's a lady I found within a forum on Facebook and she's used by lots of websites to create these stories. She does Pinterest accounts and she does web stories. And I'm using her because I simply haven't got the time to build these myself. Obviously I'm trying to build my mega website and have a business to run. So I've outsourced it to her and she's doing a wonderful job. She's very creative. I also have somebody else outsourced on my pet website and he too is doing a fantastic job. And in fact, I'm getting quite a few clicks on those at the moment. I've not had any go viral yet, but I'm fingers crossed I'm hoping one will. So finally, what can you expect? What are you hoping for these pins? Well, basically you are hoping you get on the front cover of Google Discovery. If you get on Google Discovery, that platform gets millions and millions of views per day. And if you can get your web story shown on the front cover and you've got a really nice attractive front cover, hopefully you can get hundreds of thousands of visitors to your website. And that's what happened to this lady that I know. She got one or two pins on the front cover of Discovery and it sent hundreds of thousands of people to her website. The good thing was that only lasted for a few days, but because Google maybe was impressed that people liked her stories and clicked over to her website, Google is now crawling her website very often and it keeps picking up these stories and it keeps putting them on Google Discovery. So she's been getting some amazing traffic now for the past few months. She also thinks some of the success of her website is now because of the Google Web Stories, because now she's getting more backlinks, she's getting more repeat visitors, and she's getting more impressions. So even if that flurry of traffic suddenly disappears, she still says it has done her business the world of good. And she certainly thinks her website is much more authoritative now thanks to these Google Web Stories. So I'm trialing them. I will keep you informed how it goes. Very early days yet for me. I've only just started using them. It's been about 30 days now. So uh, I will bring you some more information. So the next video we're gonna do is I will demonstrate how you can add them to your website. And then hopefully in video three, we'll see some traffic numbers and we'll have a bit of fun with the analytics. So remember, head over to carlbrobin.com and subscribe to my giveaway competition where you might have a chance of winning that website, helpfulmonk.com. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and make sure you click that little bell icon and then the next couple of videos I bring out, you will be notified by YouTube. So thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.